Hey, and a big shout out to a new rookie starting lineup member of Optic Texas joining us live. Hair's looking on point. Ghosty, <laughs> congratulations on your first win in the uh, league. It was in my face. What was this like, man? Tell me about your first matchup here. Uh, it was really good, man. It was really fun. Uh, I'm I'm not happy that it went to a map five, obviously, but it's it's good to get a gritty series uh, in for the first one. Uh, I kind of got slammed maps two and five, but Kyler's literally the greatest, so. We got a chance to talk with I Hold Shift at the start of the show, and for anyone who missed it, he kind of highlighted your path, that you started as a competitive player at the Call of Duty uh, college level. Then, of course, you went to Challengers. Now you've got a starting lineup spot. How tough has this grind been for you, and what are you going to look back on with positive thoughts in the future? Uh, honestly, it's definitely a grind, but if you put your mind to it, it's not as hard as people say it would be. Uh, and looking back, I mean, I'm just so much less stressed, to be quite honest. You know, the, the weight of school has been lifted off my shoulders. Well, you know, it, it's less school, obviously, but, you know, it's off the shoulders for sure. We feel that. Yeah, less school. I mean, I know that you are taking a bit of an underload from what I've heard, so you're still going to hopefully finish that out. I mean, typical for sure across the board. Uh, and congratulations on your first win in the CDL. You. Will you be bringing out a sniper? Will we see some of that in Search and Destroy up and coming out of you? Uh, yeah, we will. I don't know if you peeped. I had it out one round in Mercado. Uh, that's it, but, you know. And maybe if we play a little <laughs> bit different of a map, but it's all good. Uh, Ghosty, I want to ask you a little bit about, like, this is a crazy moment, right? Like, you come into Optic Texas, one of the biggest organizations in esports, right? Coming from Challengers, you're moving states, and you're going to play with some of these guys who have won world championships. How has this been for you? Like, what has the family and friends reaction been? And uh, how's this experience been for you in the last couple of weeks? Uh, it's been surreal, honestly, like there's no other way to put it. Uh, it's a surreal moment. Uh, I'm really excited to be working with these guys and I'm real excited for the future. Content, we got to ask you about it. You're part of the machine now. Where can people find more Ghosty if they want to see you between now and your next matchup? Uh, all my socials, Odan Ghosty. Uh, I'm looking to get a new at, you know, a little cleaner of one. But until then, we're keeping it Odan Ghosty. We'll see if we can find you some check marks to go with it. Ghosty, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on your first dub, and we look forward to your next match. Cheers. Thank you for having me on. And have a spectacular end. 30 seconds to go. They're def length, though. There could be a position. This is where Ghosty has got, eventually does get found out. So right now for Ghosty. Trying to be the sole man on the objective. Self, that defense going into round five. I thought Optic had a lot of map control, like Cold Strong on the defensive side, just allowing LAG to have that one more segment complete. Yeah. Now, Lando, this series gets really scary for me because Optic Texas are going into a fortress hardpoint. Rookie Compadre is SMG duo and Joe Deceives now to try to make the plays. He's got a cruise missile to work with, but what a play between Joe Deceives and Exceed. To now allow LA just coming in. Dota C finds another two. Now you have to get out of the point. You have to play for kills. Ghosty goes behind the cells. Trying to prepare for what could be a break. You can tell he just did for new. Because you got to keep in mind, Dota C still has that cruise missile to work with. That's exactly right. And that very well could come into play when we're thinking about. Oh, now it's Optic who has grabbed the advantage. 200 points. And right now for LAG, they've got to contest this. They cannot allow for this PP1. That's fine. How do you handle business when it comes down to the spawns? They've got the close ones now moving forward. However, Ghosty puts through a big gunfight victory. And right now for LAG, they've invested a lot. And with that, Jay, we've got ourselves a game five. Going to a game five, brother. And I wouldn't want this series to end any other way. One down quick and then forcing them to retake as the first blood already comes in for assault. You can kind of tell, I think. For Search and destroy in this game five from Optic Texas. The Gorillas to get that bomb down. Jeez. As you see the stat line, that guy, he's a man on a mission. That's a nuke for real, my dog. That's